Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about acute dacryocystitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Dacryon means tear, cysta means sac and itis means inflammation. So, dacryocystitis means inflammation of tear sac. Dacryocystitis is an infection or inflammation of the lacrimal sac secondary to obstruction of the nasolacrimal duct at the junction of nasolacrimal sac. Acute dacryocystitis is an acute suppurative inflammation of the lacrimal sac characterized by presence of a painful swelling in the region of the sac. Now let us see about the etiology of acute dacryocystitis. Acute dacryocystitis can be an acute exasperation of chronic dacryocystitis or it can be due to direct involvement from neighboring infected structures like paranasal sinuses, surrounding bones, dental abscess or caries teeth in the upper jaw. The common causative organisms implicated in acute dacryocystitis are Streptococcus hemolyticus, pneumococcus and staphylococcus. A lacrimal abscess may be due to acute inflammation of the sac or due to separation starting in pericystic tissues. This is how a case of acute dacryocystitis presents to you. Now, what are the clinical features of acute dacryocystitis? There are three stages in acute dacryocystitis. The first stage is the stage of cellulitis. There will be painful swelling in lacrimal sac. There will be epiphora that is excessive watering of eyes, fever and malice. The skin over the sac becomes red and swollen. The redness and swelling rapidly extend to the lower lid and upper part of the cheek. The second stage is a stage of lacrimal abscess. Continued inflammation causes occlusion of the canaliculi due to edema. The sac is filled with pus, distance and its anterior wall ruptures forming a pericystic swelling. The abscess usually points below and to the outer side of the sac owing to gravitation of the pus to the margin or of the orbit. The last stage is a stage of fistula formation. If the lacrimal abscess is left unattended, it may burst spontaneously. Pus continues to be discharged for some time and a permanent fistula is likely to result. Now what are the complications of acute dacryocystitis? If acute dacryocystitis is not treated adequately, it can lead to acute conjunctivitis, corneal abrasion, corneal ulceration, lid abscess, osteomyelitis of lacrimal bone, orbital cellulitis, facial cellulitis, acute ethmoiditis, cavernous sinus thrombosis and generalized septicemia. Now, how do you treat a case of acute dacryocystitis? During cellulitis stage, oral and topical antibiotic drugs can be given. Hot fermentation can be done. During stage of lacrimal abscess, if the abscess is pointing under the skin, a small incision should be given, the pus should be gently squeezed out and an antibiotic dressing should be applied. If chronic discharge continues and nasolacrimal obstruction is present, a dacryocystorhinostomy is indicated. How do you treat a case of external lacrimal fistulate? Fistulectomy is done along with DCT or DCR. Thank you.